Hello, my name is Atlin, and today we're going to be going over how to play TreeSim. So first of all, you have to open the file with GoldSim Player, which you'll have to download from online. And once you do that, you can open up the file, and then you can click on this Start button. This is the first of many different slides you'll have to go through before you get to the gameplay, just telling you how to play the game, giving you some basic straightforward information, but for right now what you need to know is how to actually navigate through these slides and get the information you need. So here you just have two options. You can go back to the previous page or you can go next and you just click. This is the same way, just giving you some more information about how to play and you can click through the next. This is the start of the informational slides, giving you some background knowledge and basic information that can help you decide where to plant trees, the importance of trees, uh, why we chose the areas that we did, and just different information to help you make decisions later on. This shows the two locations we chose, first being the South Valley shown on the left, and the next being the International District on the right. Here's the, a different version of the same map, but you can click on each area and it shows you the factors on why we chose that area, including tree canopy, plantable space, and percent of the population below poverty. And you can do the same for the International District. This provides some very basic information on the benefits of trees and how we'll water them using stormwater. This provides the basics about the stormwater system we'll be using, primarily centered around the North Aversion Channel, which drains a good portion of the acreage of Albuquerque. This gives more information on the urban heat island effect and how trees help cool down the ambient temperatures in urban areas. And here you have more options than just back or next. You can also click here to give you more information about the health costs of the urban heat island effect. And we'll move on. Okay, with that information, you're ready to play the game. So you just click this giant play button. Here is a breakdown of the six tree species that we selected. And it's a lot of information on this slide and you can go into it as deep as you want to in selecting which trees you like and which trees you think we should plant. Uh, the most important information is probably in bold here, the medium water use, high water use, low water use, especially living in a, a desert area, this is going to be important for these trees. Uh, another important factor is the size of the trees. So desert willow, it's low water use, but it doesn't provide nearly as much shade as something like the bur oak. So the bur oak will have a much greater impact on things like public health and the urban heat island effect. Here, you get to the actual gameplay. So there's a few different areas which we'll go through. First is the instructions, which just gives you a rundown on this page. Here's a little map reminding you of where you're actually planting trees in the South Valley in the International District. Right here is the first selection and choice that you have, and that is climate change severity. So you have three scenarios, low, medium, and high, which impact things like water supply, rainfall, uh, temperatures, how much water the trees need, as well as the price of water. The price of water you can actually see right here, and you can see it change and go up as climate change gets worse and worse. So these other boxes, you don't make any actual selection, but when you run the model, you'll see different values appear. This is the total cost of the total initial cost. So that includes things like actually purchasing the saplings. It includes the, the maintenance cost for planting the saplings. Here, it shows the annual cost of water total. So that's for all the trees you decided to plant, how much you will be spending just to buy the water annually. This box shows you how many trees total you planted. So it'll just be a summation of all of these tabs once you actually make selections. Here you have several buttons. First is the reset values, which we'll get back to. Here's a time settings button, which is a more advanced selection where you can change the 
duration of the, of the model. It's by default set to 100 years. This button will take you back to the previous page in case you want to look back and review any information about one of the trees. The run model is what you do after you make all your selections. You'll click that and then the then Gold Sim will actually calculate your results. And then you see your results by clicking on this where it'll take you to your next page. This box is just some basic information about troubleshooting, which we'll go over later. And then these six boxes are your primary choices on this tab. So first, you can, you can move any slider anywhere you want to select how many of each tree that you want to plant. Now, there are some caveats to this. Most importantly is that you are limited by the space available for planting in these two locations. Now, this will probably bring you with your first troubleshooting issue, and that is if you exceed that area, as you see here, your sliders get locked out, so you can't adjust them anymore. Now, if these results are what you want, that's fine. You can run the model and go to the next page, but if you want to change something, you're going to have to click Reset Values, and that zeroes out your values, and then you can readjust to what you want. Now, let's say you made this, which is a diverse selection of trees, and then you're happy with this. So you click Run Model, and you click OK. And now before we go to the results, we'll go over another troubleshooting issue. Now if you want to go back and you want to change your sliders, you'll s it just gives you an error, and you can't actually move your sliders or make any other changes. So what you have to do is you have to go up here, click Reset Model, and then it basically deletes your results and you can make changes again. Now a hotkey for this is clicking F4 instead of going up and clicking this button. Now we'll run our model again and we'll go on to our results. So this shows you basically how well you did in the game. So with the selections that I made, it shows here how long it takes for me to make my money back. So six years and one month, which is a pretty good return on investment. And what selections you make will change how fast you start making money. And this graph shows a visualization of that. And you can see six years is about this uptick in the graph. Now the blue line is an optimized graph and a red line is your graph. So red is the profit for the selections that you made. Blue is the best possible profit based on a mathematically optimized scenario. So a good objective for you could be to close this gap as much as possible and make as much profit. Now this graph, the total water use, is kind of a flipped version of that. Red is still your graph and how much water you use with your selections every year. Blue is an optimized version. So a good goal would be to get the red line as close to the blue line as you can by decreasing your water use. Now it should be noted that this optimization and this optimization are based on two different scenarios. So you will have to make a decision at some point on whether you want to prioritize profit or you want to prioritize water use. On the right side, you can click on these buttons and you'll just get options for more individual graphs. Tree Benefits gives you an overall graph breaking down where your profit's coming from, and then each of these graphs shows how we got to the Tree Benefits. From here you have a couple options. You can go back to gameplay and make new decisions, change your trees, change your climate change scenario, or you can click at the bottom and see the references and where we got our information. And that's how you play TreeSim.